Are the TPI two strokes from KTM and Husqvarna seizing due to problems with the TPI system? We spoke to a few industry insiders to see if this was true. We do know KTM released this technical bulletin in November 2020, and they recommended getting dealers to set up more oil in the mix for certain rider profiles. First, a quick bit of history. We covered the pros and cons of TPI in a recent video. Main benefits, less emissions, better fuel economy. TPI was created to meet tighter emission regulations in Europe. Unfortunately, it also means a lot more complexity and close to three kilograms extra weight. KDM has basically been forced into lowering emissions on their Enduro models by using TPI. They still use the trusty carburetor on their motocross two-strokes. Early problems included splitting oil tanks, the occasional oil pump failure, and issues with starting, idling, and running too lean. Recently, there have been crankcase pressure sensors failing that cause stuttering at low revs, and more importantly, there have been cases of TPI bikes seizing, sometimes at very low hours. The big questions, how often does it happen? Is it a design fault or caused by the rider? Are they getting fixed under warranty? And what will reduce the chances of seizing? How often does it happen? First, we just Googled around for recent cases of TPI seizures. Some of these are quite low hours. In some cases, the dealers claimed it must have been the rider's fault. In others, they immediately fixed it under warranty. Sometimes they get the owner to pay some of the costs. Usually the riders say they haven't drowned the bikes or caused the problem in any way, but of course, we can't be sure. And when you consider how many bikes have been sold, it does only represent a small percentage of failures. It is evident that plenty of TPI owners have no problems at all. This guy even ran an internet poll a few years back. It's a very small sample, but indicates most owners had no problems. 5% of owners did. However, there are rumours that the 2020 and 2021 models have had more failures than normal. In Australia, I spoke to a few industry guys. They said that there seem to be enough cases of seizing to indicate there's a small but significant problem. They think KTM's technical bulletin is KTM's response. One even said some dealers are finding it difficult to source barrels due to the number of failures happening. We had discussions about the claimed rate of failure, but I think just looking at the Australian market would not give a reliable indication for worldwide. It reminds me very much of Beta's main bearing failures from 2018 to 2020. It was a low rate of failure, but of course it's expensive to fix, so owners are understandably concerned. And if Sherco riders are feeling smug at this point, just remember Sherco's own known issues. Status failing too early, ECU failures, stripping bolts, heavy clutches. Every brand has their own issues. Okay, let's assume there's a small rate of failure. What can be done to reduce or eliminate the risk? One, talk with your dealer about setting your bike up to run a bit richer. Some dealers are doing this for free others are charging. Two, in some case there have been oil pump failures. The manual states this should be replaced at 80 hours. Now some have failed before then, others go much longer. But for peace of mind, it may be best to just replace this at the specified 80 hours. Three, make sure there is no dirt around your oil filler cap. In a small number of cases, dirt has dropped into the tank, clogged up the system, the engine fails. Four, get to know your system and follow the guidelines. A typical example is the warm-up routine. If you don't follow the manual, your bike won't run right. It may not cause seizures, but it's a more complex system than carburetors, and you just need to pay attention to the details if you want it to work well. Five, always be careful with air filters. Well, duh. <laughs> They will let dust in if they aren't oiled well or not fitted properly. One guy did admit his seizure was due to letting dust in. 
Six, be aware that in recent models, crankcase pressure sensors are failing. It's doubtful this will cause any seizures, but if your bike is stuttering at low revs, then check this first and replace it if needed. Seven, never run out of oil or too low. Sucking an air bubble into the system could cause big problems. The most important thing, just chill. The failure rate is low and we still don't really know how many cases of rider error and how often it's the system itself. Dealer support has been good in the USA, as usual. In Australia, some owners claim dealers are trying to wriggle out of warranty claims. If you do have issues, go straight to the distributor, see what they say. And of course, remember that you are also covered by consumer law if you are prepared to fight. And of course, if you are to blame, <laughs> just accept responsibility and pay for repairs if you drowned the bike or forgot to top up the oil. Keen to hear your thoughts and opinions, especially any KTM representatives.